the movies that Adam Pay actually put together with the fix the shoot. Okay, I'm going to start the uh, learning sponsors as we begin to gather. Okay. So, all right. The uh, year of learning, friends of Malaskotsky, Moshe Zelig, Ben Mordechai, Martin Lippmann, a family memory of his wife, Malka Thanabat Pinchas, friends of Herb Jeremiah, Sri Ben Zev, friends of Sam Coleman, Shmuel Ben Yaakov, friends of Gideon Lozinski, Mordechai Shlomo Ben Mayer, Bella and David Adler, in memory of her father, Eliyahu Ben Yosef Kohen, those who were inspired by our Reverts in Emerita, Sheila Shapiro, Sarah Estimaka, Bad Mishlom Yusachar, Gail and Leslie Kaplan, in memory of their parents, Mushka Shprinz, Bad Yosef Chaim Vahava, Hanan Ben Moshe Eliezer Vathana, Pesha Bad Shmuel Yitzchak Halevi Vitzipora, Yusuf Ben Yoel Moshe Al Kohen Vachana, Rexford Friends of Gladys Sherman, Gutta Bad Meir, Michael Klein and Friends of Judah Klein, Yehuda Tzvi Ben Ben Chaim, Marsha Braun, in memory of her husband, Arav Yurachmiel Ben Shmuel, Friends and family of Arthur Ritholtz, Mordechai Yudel Ben Baruch Leib HaKohen, the month of learning by Charlie Gelfenstein in memory of his mother, Dasya Gilbad Mayor Halevi, Charlie Gelfenstein also in memory of his father, Mayor Ben Yaakov, Ruvain and Susan Podolsky in memory of his mother, Fredel Batshraga Feivel, V. Pizer in memory of her sister, Rivka Bar Avram Michal Halevi, a week of learning by the friends of Bernie Kutz, the occasion of his second bar mitzvah. Today is the 28th, I believe, of the month, and there are no individual days of learning today. And then Shem Sermaliyah, Crank Rafiyah, Velti Yeshua, Shem Atliyah, Choban Israel, Bikha Ben Shia. Amen. Rabosai, there are four ways to stop the derivation from the Chumash. On those, when we want to derive a principle from, from the Chumash, there are four ways to stop it. If we're trying to generalize from something that's explicit in the Chumash, we can stop it by saying that that what's written explicitly in the Chumash is specific to the circumstances. It can't be generalized. That's one. I stop it. I I, I've stopped. You want to do, you want to say here, Avram got up early. I have to get up early. I said, no, well, it was specific to Avram. That's one way. You want to generalize what, even if it's explicit in the Torah, you want to generalize it. I stopped and we say, no, the circumstances of the particular case limited to the case. Avram special. He's so good. He got, he got, he, got, he can get up early. Yes, whatever you're going to say, whatever you want to say. Okay, good. The second way is let's say let's say things are not explicit in the Torah. So then there are th well, there are three different ways that we that we generalize. One would be by memetzida. We make a comparison and say the cases are legally identical. I stop it by it's also called the pircha. But here I'm, I just compare them. I say again, no, that in theory, the, in theory, I can show you a, a, a factor in what in what's there. Okay, in what's there that limits it to its circumstance. Again, even though this looks like it. It's not that similar to that. We already told you, no, it's that's Memotina. So, it's, whatever you said there, I say it's different over there. It's special for that case. That's really the first one I said. You have to say three. If I learn, uh, no, oh, oh, I, I'm sorry, that's what I forgot. I'm sorry. A second way, even when it's explicit, a, a second way to stop anything is to say that there's an explicit uh, exclusion of the Torah. Some places, like I said, even though it looks like you should do that, here I said no. So, Hashem overrides. That can override any derivation. If I have a memetzina, you know, like I said to you, uh, I compare. I just compare it. I said, listen, that's that's different. That's got a special factor. By a kalvachomer, it's called. We call which we, by kalvachomer. When you say to me, listen, if the easy case has a, a severe law, then certainly the severe case should have a severe law. I say to you, buddy, you're making a mistake. The easy case is not is not an easy is not is not having a severe law, even despite the fact that it's easy. It's having a severe law because it's a very severe case. There's a factor that makes it more severe. Okay, so whenever I can show you that, whenever you learn from heavy to light or light to heavy, if I can show you that the light is heavier, the heavy is light, that's how I stop you. So today we're going to, today we're going to do, play the game that we started yesterday. We'll say a game and all this now. Oh, you want to talk Kabbalah Okay, so we're going to try and, and derive, and this is what you have to be, you have to be head over heels in love with the rabbis of the Gemara. You have to be head over heels with all the rabbis, really. When I was young, so I said to my Rebbe, I met my Rebbe when I was, when I was 20. You know, so I told him that I, I felt a deep love for Avram Avinu. Is it okay? You know, I realize you have to watch out. He said, he said, if you feel the same love for Rabbi Kiva Eger, he said, he said, and for the Nod of Yehuda, then it's fine. If not, then it, it's a problem. 
Now the thing is, so what happened? You know, here everybody went through this uh, COVID time. Not not now. For first time to everybody, but when COVID happened, so but where I was living, so we closed the shul and we closed the yeshiva for three months. So for three months, I wasn't on anybody's schedule. So nobody's nobody's bossing me around. So I get to dream and do what I want. I get to learn what I want to learn. Do what I want to do. So I got to spend a lot of time with the Nod Behuda and the Chassam Sofer and the Gona Vilna, uh, um, other other greats. And it was a profound rediscovery. And why, what I mean to say, I always love them. But what's the, what's the point? One of the things they realize, you have to realize what they did because, it, and it bothers me sometimes, sometimes people speak about the great rabbis of the past. Say, oh, he was a gun. He was a genius. Oh, he's a genius. At a certain point, it's, it's almost disrespectful. What do I mean to say? Of course, yeah, they were. They were very bright. But when you say, oh, he's a genius, it, it, it detracts from the incredible work that they did to produce what they had to say. When you read the pages of, of, of these books, you see the incredible love that they lavished on Hashem's Torah, how they investigated every detail and every nuance. They said, they, yes, yeah, they, yeah, know what? They were brilliant. But, that, but brilliance wouldn't have done what they did. Only love. Only love does that. And the Medrash says it. In the, in the Medrash, the Medrash Tanhuma tells us that the only person who learns Torah to <laughs> is a person who loves God with all their heart and all their soul and all their might. Only people are going to, why? Because it's only somebody that's in love that's going to care about all those details. So today in the Gemara, you're going to see something beautiful. Even though, even though the Torah told us, even though the Torah told us a bunch of laws, now the Gemara says, Let, let's examine each one and let's see if we, if there are derivations that we can get by Kabbalah Homer. We'll generate halachas that weren't explicit, but we'll get them. That's only <laughs> from love. You, and that's why only people in love can learn Torah Shabbat. There was a famous author named, uh, uh, I, I don't speak French, but I think I think we say in English, Guy de Maupassant. But I think in French they call him Guy, but it doesn't matter. His name is Guy de Maupassant, a very famous uh, writer. So he writes about writing. He would talk about fiction writing. He said, if you don't, if you're not interested in what color a person's garment is or how it's tailored or what cut it is or their hair or the shape of their beard, he said, don't become a writer. He says, you're not going to do a very, you're not going to do a very good job. And here, if you're not in love with God, you're not going to do a good job in, in learning the oral law. Why? Because the whole oral law is about the details. That's exactly the point. The written law is easy, it says. The mentor says it's general, it's mm-hmm. sweet, you understand? Not a problem. The oral law is, is so big and complex, and it, it, it's hard like death. So only love conquers that. And here today, we're going to see the incredible love, the love that 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 our our forebears put into God's Torah. Okay, let's take a look. So now, once we started the Kabachomer process, let's work on Kabachomers. Let's see, let's see what halachas we can generate. From I'm going to tell you exactly. We are starting from uh, we are starting from Chavhei Amid Days, and we are uh, oh here it is Betehei. Okay, one, two, three, four lines from the bottom. The second word from the end of the line says the word. Let, here, let's start to work Kavachomers. Betehei Shein Beregal Chaya Bereshus Rabim. One second. Then, even though what the pasuk had told us about. About about eating and trampling in a private domain. Let's let's learn by Kabbalah Kab- Homer. Let's learn that they have to pay in the public domain. Let's make a Kabbalah Homer. Uma Karen Shabushusa Nizak and Mishalim. It's Karen and Mishal El Nezek. If Karen, which in the in the in the damages domain, is is lenient, is an easy case in the sense that it pays only half damages. Nevertheless, in the public domain, it still has to pay. In other words, if the light case has a, has a strong din, then the public domain has to pay. Who have a strong din. Why? Because they pay full damages in the private domain. Certainly, certainly they should have to pay. So now we're going to derive, even though we've never said this before, that eating and trampling pays in the public domain. Mar says, you're right, but Hashem precluded it. You could have done that. That would have worked, okay, logically, but on Mark Raw, the Pasik said, Hashem said no. It said what the animal consumed in somebody else's field, the love of The words precluded. You're right, logically, you could have derived it, but Hashem said, Hashem said no. Okay, that's, that's one way to stop it. So when you have it, I, 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 I doubled up before. But one of the ways you stop anything is Hashem says no. I find I find a Pasik that precludes your logical derivation. No matter how reasonable your thinking is, if Hashem says no, it's no. Okay, bother me once a second. Slow down, slow down, slow down. When did the, the Torah, you're right, the Torah said 
about eating and trampling that it, that what that it pays in, in only in the da- damages domain. But when did it say it? Because it was talking about the halacha of full damages. But I'm asking you what? I'm asking you about paying half damages. What? Palgo Kamina. Let them pay the same way that the same way that Goring pays half damages. Let them pay half damages. The Gemara, the Gemara says, right? Good try. You know what? That also would work. But Hashem said no. Why? Because the Pusik says, on Makra, the Pusik says, the Khatu is Kaspa. What? They have to they have to split the Goring ox into half, the money into half. And it says Kaspa. It's so you have to say what? And, it, 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 and we understand that it's specific, it's peculiar to the case why, because Hashem said, the Pusik said, pardon me, not logically, because the Pusik said, Kasper shall say, after this one, okay, we'll look Kasper shall out here. Who's going to pay that Chetzi Nezek? Oh, only what is only when it's a, a gore, a, a, when you're paying, paying for the damage done by, 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 a goring, by a goring ox, not when you're paying for what? Not when you're paying for trampling or eating. You don't pay half damages. I go into one second. Okay, so slow down. So let me ask you another question. Let me do another way. Maybe I should learn like this. I'll, a biological derivation, I'll prove to you against everything you said before that eating and trampling only pay half damages, even in the domain of the damages. I'll learn it as a Kabachomer from Karen. Ma Karen, what? If Karen's Rishus Arabim, okay, Chayeves, okay, if we see that Karen in the public domain, okay, where other things are, 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 are other things are are not liable. So Karen, which is severe, okay, it, it, that has to pay half damages in public domain, mm-hmm. the severe case where, where that has to pay when nobody else pays in public domain, when you get to the private domain, it still only pays half damages. Okay? Okay? Shane Varego, so when it comes to Shane Varego, if the, if the severe case in public domain is lenient in the private domain, certainly the lenient case in the public domain, what, eating and trampling, Okay, but the Bishus Rabbi Tura were exempt, and if the Bishus Nezik, if the severe case is lenient in the private domain, certainly the lenient case, eating and trampling, should be lenient in the private domain. I'm across. It's a good try. You're right, but Hashem said, Hashem said no. You know, you understand what we're doing here? These ones, what I tried to tell you in a minute, even though I doubled up, you understand? But the begin, these are ones where we're not knocking them out logically. We're knocking them out because Hashem strong armed us and said no. That's all. Good point. Good thinking, but Hashem said no. Okay, on my cross, here's the same thing. The Pasik says Yishalim. No, because when it said shame regular, you have to pay. Well, and we have, we learn the word Yishalim for a completion, to pay everything, Tashlum the a, a, a complete payment, a, a satisfactory payment. No, we learn the Shalem, what you make it whole. You have to pay everything. You can't be half damaged. Good point, but Hashem said no. All right, let's try again. Let me learn another law. Listen, maybe I should learn like this, that, you know, that goring is not liable at all in the public domain. I'll learn as a kabachomer. Shame regal, which are severe. They're severe. That what in the private domain, they pay full damages. And those are very severe. They pay full damages, not half in the private domain. So if the severe case in the private domain is lenient in the public domain, okay, because they don't pay anything. So if the severe case is lenient in, in the public domain, Okay, Karen, Karen, if Karen, which is lenient in the private domain, why? Because it only pays half damages, because it always does. And it did, so you should go down. Okay, just like you drop this, you have, you should, you also what? You should say in public domain, it's part there. If shame regular, which are severe, go down in the uh, in the public domain, okay, certainly, certainly Karen, which is lenient in the private domain, only pays half, should go down to nothing. Good point. You know what? Logically, good thinking, but Amar Kra, what? Amar Kra, the Pusik says, what nothing doing? Why? Because it says yachatun. Okay, that's an extra word because it says it says it says uh, 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 um, It says what? It's it, the, the pasuk says esashar umach esashar chay v'chatu es kaspo. Right? You divide the living one. That's the that's the gur. The gamas ames and also the dead one yachatun. So remember, remember, I said you don't have to say so much. You can really say you divide the living one, the gamma, the gamma and also the dead one. You don't have to say the dead one you divide, right? You have to talk so much for. You have to talk so much for. So the word yachatun is extra. The splitting of that word is extra. One one verb would have been enough. And therefore, what? What does that come to tell me? The extra word tells me the drasha ain chatzinezek chaluk. Okay. There, so there's no difference in the payments of half damages. You always, what by adding it, it's always half damages. It's never changing. You pay, you pay half damages no matter where you are. You're right. Logically, you could have thought that the half damage of the Karen would be exempted in the public domain, but we don't. No matter where you are, you pay half damages of Karen. It doesn't make any difference. 
Okay, Gemara says, let's okay. Now let's try again. Now you know that when it, when an ox that's that scored three times kills somebody, so the, the owner of the ox has to pay guilt money. Later on, we're gonna have a machloka. So does he pay the does he pay the, the his price or the price of the damage? It doesn't matter. Who has to pay atonement money? Okay, but it's only announced by by, by muara. I be hey other what I learned from what what I learned that a man okay who killed somebody. Uh, no, by, by 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 accident, and it's a way. It's a way that without warning. He's, whatever you're gonna do, he's not gonna he's not gonna be punished. And so he has to pay. He, he normally he can pay monetary things. High bekofer. Okay. So if it's a case where what? So um um uh, in other words, a guy for for, for a guy for example, a guy killed somebody on purpose, and they didn't warn him. Okay, so he's not going to be killed, and nor is he nor is he going to go into the house. Okay, people argue about that, Rashi, but that's what it says. So he says, what? Let's say a man high because, uh, uh, so let's say a man who, who kills, okay, purposely should have to pay kofar, mikavah homer. And I'll learn as a kavah homer. We've always learned what? That, 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 that a human doesn't pay kofar for killing. Ma shor she'eno chai ba'abed varim. If shor, which is a lenient case, an ox, you know, ox never, ox only pays damages. My, pro my property does damage. I, I pay damages, but I don't pay the four extra things of what? Of pain and, 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 and that, of tsar, ripoy, shevas, boshas. I don't pay all these things. I, Right, all those things. It's, it was, so if if an animal which is lenient in the sense that it doesn't pay the four things, chayav bekofer, nevertheless, it was, has to pay the atonement money. The man has to pay. All them shechayav abedivarim. So man, which is stringent, okay, and then shechayav bekofer. If the lenient case pays kofer, certainly the strong case that pays the four things should have to pay kofer. Amar Gemara says you're right. Good point, but no horseshoe. Why? Amar Kol, because the pasuk Hashem said no. The chol hashayusa shalom. Again, extra word. Instead of saying what. A, 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 whatever is the creed you know, is evaluated or assessed uh, 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 on him, on him below uh, below Adam, and him knows the owner of the ox, and not on uh, owner or not damage made by a man. So you're right again, good point, but Hashem said no. Hi, but okay, but, uh, let, let me show you again. Here's another uh, 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 another investigation. Be a sure, hi, Barbara Let me prove to you against what we've always said. We've always said what that when, when damage done by my money, I don't pay all the extra four things. Only only devaluation. I'm going to, let me prove what that damage done by my ox has to pay the fourth thing. I'll learn it by Kabachomer. If a man which is damaged by man, which is a lenient case, whoever pays atonement money, he has to pay it. If the lenient case, which doesn't have to pay Kofer, pays the four things, okay, so that so then we're going to say that it's going to be easy. Shor shechayv kofer. So shor, which is an astringent case, which does have to pay atonement money, ain't no din shechayv barad varim. So all the more so, you should have to pay the fourth thing. If the lenient case pays four things, certainly the strong case should pay four things. Okay, the answer is Amar Kra says good point, but God said no. Amar Kra the pasuk says ish pamito. It says what? It says it says it says when is it that that a person pays the fourth thing? It says it says ish ki etain mum baamito. That's at least one of the places where we learn the four things from. It says when a person will put give an injury to his to his to his his colleague, okay, his neighbor, his friend, okay, each bamito who has to pay what damages when a man does to his colleague below shor bamito, not when an ox does it to his colleague. So again, you're right, logically you're correct, but Hashem said, no. I ibailu. Let me ask you this question. Now, now hold on. This is a big this is a big one. You have to and we just have to hold it hold in your head till we get to the end. We're going to propose. That there's such a thing as cofair by by trample. Okay, how are we going to do it? We're we're queer. If an animal trampled a baby in the in the in the in the in the, in the private domain, in the, ba in the baby's domain, you know? so shan okay. What's the law? Maybe now that we should now now maybe you have to pay cofair. Uh, what's the reason? Okay. Before we said what we said, real we pay kofer when an animal did malicious damage, right? When it had kavana. Okay. But here we want to say no. This kofer even when it just tramples in its normal way. Me, I'm reading me the Havia carriage. They say, look, it's just like goring. Karen came in the other tray plus a zimne or just like an ox that gored. Once it gores two or three times, so it's now considered a, by nature a gore or mishal and kofer. And once it's by nature a gore, if it kills somebody, it has to pay for it has to pay the atonement money. Let me just make a direct comparison. Okay, over here also, why is that? Because remember, because trampling or eating is by nature called muad, it's forewarned. So from the first minute, those things are the equivalent of an ox that gored three times. They, they're they from birth, have gored three times, so to speak. They're naturally walkers or eaters. So anything that's that's forewarned pays poker. That's easy enough. Oh, Dilma, no, maybe I should say the other way. I say, no, I make a differentiation. I say, no, I find I can limit, 
I can limit the case of Kofer to a unique quality in the case of in the case of a man, of, of an ox. Why? The Oma Karen covered us the too, because what one of the unique factors of goring is what? It's malicious damage. It, ha- it, it has intention to do damage. Hi, covered us a Okay, uh, okay. So this one, okay. Hi, uh, ain't covered us a But this one, when it comes to trampling, it doesn't do it. So should I compare them by the fact that they are both forewarned, both considered muadim, naturally, or, or should I say no? It needs it needs malicious or intentional damage. Tashma, now come, I'm going to bring you proof. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you in a minute. That our tradition holds, okay, holds that there's such a thing as kofir, okay, the uh, kofir by. I'll show you that our 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 teachers have already decided this point and said that I make the comparison on the basis, at least the way we propose it now, on the basis of being forewarned. Ta- okay, uh, okay, take a look. Tashma bring your proof. We learned in Abraisa, Ichnishola Khatzabalabayas, a guy took t- took his his own ox and put it to somebody else's domain, Shalobashus without permission. And the guy who brought the ox in, his ox, his ox gored the owner of the the owner of the property where he shouldn't have been. Umes and the owner of the property dies. So Ashur Bishkila. Okay, so he killed the ox. Ubalav and the owner Bain Tam Bain Muad. The owner whether the ox was a gore or not. Tam or Muad. Mashalim Kofer Shalim. He pays full Kofer. Why did Rabbi Tarfon? That's Rabbi Tarfon. Okay, remember Rabbi Tarfon. Rabbi Tarfon is a guy who holds. In all, all that member in the member, member at Harvard holds in the domain of the Nizak, things are more hammer for Karen. Okay, okay, now he says, now he says, he's now he says, what? So, what, but he said, so not only what is he going to pay, what, he's going to not only will so speak, but he has to pay full damages, but in the case of death, he what he pays a full kofa. That's the word we're talking about ah, now, right? All times, okay, but but the point is, what you see, he pays kofa, kofa, surely, but Tom, the rabbi, talk from the you know, one second. Where did he get the idea that you pay a full kofar? Remember, we want to. What are we trying to prove? We're trying to prove that there's kofar by trampling. Let's figure. How did he ever get an idea that you're going to pay full kofar by by a, by a tam gore? Okay, in the domain of the nizra. Lav mishum the summer lake of yasegli. So it must be that he he subscribes to the opinion of yasegli. We'll see later. The armor who says tam mishal and chetzi kofar. Remember. He says that there's such a thing as half kofer. Who said there's any such thing as kofer? So he must be hold like Rabbi Yosef Gwili. That the, the Tom really should, that's a given, that a Tom pays half kofer, Rishus Rabim, in the public domain. Now, if that's true, who might, now, so how's he going to get full kofer? How's, how's, he, how's he now going to, pardon me, a Tom pays, I'm, I'm sorry, a Tom, just like it pays half damages, in, in the public domain, I'm sorry, it pays half kofer. Okay, now, it pays half kofer. Uh, and he brings it what and, and now he's going to learn what uh, he's, he's going to learn it, as a Kabbalah Homer from Rego so from Rego all of a sudden you're going to see those in order to derive the din by by Karen he's going to learn it from Rego so we're going to see it we're going to prove our point okay by the way that this Kofer by Rego how, how does he do it okay how does he do it because he says a Kabbalah Homer he says if you see that Rego in the in the domain of the damagee has to pay uh, as we assume that's what he must be saying if if, if Regal in the in the domain of the Nizak pays a full uh, a full kofir, if it tramples somebody along the way and kills them, it pays full kofir, even though what it's even the, the lenient regal, which in public domain pays nothing and no kofir, nevertheless in the private domain it pays a full kofir. So certainly Karen, which is a, a stringent case, then in the public domain it pays half kofir, like Rabbi Yosef Lili, certainly Rashus and Nizak it's gonna pay. A full kofer. If if regal, which is lenient, pays a full kofer, certainly Karen, which uh, part, it, it, certainly Karen, which is chamor, okay, is going to pay a full kofer in in the domain of Nizah. Alma, which goes to show, since the only way he could get the rule by Karen was learning it from from regal, Alma could kofer for regal. So clearly, what it, the whole thing is based on the premise that this kofer regal. Bingo, we prove that point. Alma Shimra and he says, get out of here, get out of here. He says, he says, he says, he says, he says. It's I, I I could really keep I could I could say the same point and still say there's no kofar there. I don't need kofar Berego to learn full kofar for a tom and the shusa nisa from from Rego. How do I do it? I, how can I do it? If Rego doesn't have kofar, how can I learn a din in kofar to to Karen? Uh, to Karen he says, don't worry. He says what you should do is like this. With Talim and Izak and the Rego Maisi law, he's learning it directly from the fact that damages are high by Rego. What do you mean to say? Although it's simply here. He, 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 he says, he says, how do Rabbi Tarfan learn that you pay a full kofar in the in the in the damages uh, a domain uh, for Karen? Okay, he learns that a kavah is simply from the from the case of, of damages. That even though what uh, that 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 we said that by, by that by by trampling in the public domain, 
Okay, it's lenient. Okay, it doesn't pay anything. Nevertheless, in the private domain, you give it you, you give it a severe dinner, it pays full damages. Certainly, Karen, which I already knew, pays half co-fare. Okay, in the public domain. So okay, so certainly when I get to the private domain, just like I was stringent on the damages of regular, I'll be stringent here. I didn't have to play the game of co-fare. Forget about co-fare. I said, slow down. Now get ready. Now we're gonna start. Okay, so one second. I'm gonna you're wrong. He said, I'm gonna show you that you thought what damages of regal is lenient. And nevertheless, it, pay, it, it, it pays full. So certainly what, certainly the co-fare of, of Karen, which is stringent, should pay full. I'm going to show you making a mistake. Damages of, of Rego is more severe than Karen. You want to say it's less severe because it was because 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 it was because it was exempt in the public domain? You're wrong. It's more severe. I'm going to show you. Let me show you it's more severe. Well, Lifra, get out of here. Let me let me take away that cover from you. Ma Linizik and the regal shekin yesh on the age. One second, I'll show you what that the, the, the damages of regal are very severe. Why? Because uh, because uh, because it's worse. Why? Because the same thing occurs. Okay, it, damaging uh, in the private domain is so severe because it, we find the same thing by age. Just like the, not only no, but just like by just like by regal, you pay full damages. Also by what? Also by fire, I pay full damages. In, in the private domain, I like I like it here and I pay there. But when it comes to co-fare, okay, when it comes when it, when it comes to, for example, paying paying for um for atonement, and let's say a guy, let's say let's say a guy burns his friend with fire, he doesn't pay for co-fare. You know what I'm saying? He's never he's never going to pay. Kill the guy. Either the guy should have run away, or and if the guy if the guy was tied up, he's free because he didn't get killed. So you know he, he doesn't pay co-fare. So you see what? So those things, the damages have damages have a rule. Uh, damages are, are are more severe. Okay, because 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 damages of regal share the chumrah of what of ash, share the chumrah of fire. Okay, but 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 damages of a man of, of copper, so you don't you don't have it. Yeah, yeah, they're more severe. So they're more severe that they're more severe than the damages of copper. So Gemara says one second. No, don't worry. He says I can still learn the kavah chumrah this way. I'll learn like this. He says he says remember remember if you had something if something was hidden in the grain in the grain pile. So now fire doesn't pay, okay? And nevertheless, it, it, nevertheless, by trampling, you would pay for hidden hidden damage, okay? Damage hidden thing. And if I can say, I can learn by Kabbalah Homer from Rego, that what? Rego, what? Uh, okay, re, 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 Rego, what? Rego, which is exempt for hidden damage in the public domain. No, no, fire is exempt. No, 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 no. Trampling, which is exempt. Trampling, which is exempt. From hidden damage in the public domain, and nevertheless, in the private domain, it's obligated for damage. And if it tramples hidden things in the public domain, it also be, also be trampled unhidden things. And that's not the point, though. It, it's it, it, the facts are it's exempt on hidden damages in the public domain, but it's obligated on them. So certainly, co-fair by Karen, which has to pay in the Rishus Rabin and the Rishus Nizik, he should pay full damages. Okay, and now you can't tell me what that that's a spe, that that's a special uh, 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 stringency. I says, get out of here, get out of here. He says, yeah, I can still show you what that the rules of uh, the rules of hidden uh, hidden damages are more severe. Why? Because they, because they occur also what also by also by a pit that what that not only is rego obligated on hidden damages, but also for example, uh, 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 also uh, by 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 a pit that what <clears throat> that he has to pay full damages. Let's say the thing that was damaged, okay, was hidden. Okay, but let's say a per, but, uh, but if a person falls into the pit, okay, the, the, remember, remember uh, uh, the the uh, the 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 uh, the pit is exempt from cofer. So since we find that what, okay, so the, no, the owner of the pit is exempt from cofer. So since we find a, a humra by by damages more than by cofer, because bar is going to be higher than what, and and and, 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 and for, for for the hidden damages, but not higher for the man. Okay, so you cannot what you cannot make me, me I have to pay a full Co-fair, okay, uh, as a kavah homer from damages. Mar says, "No, don't worry." Okay, you're right. I'll move on to another one. Let's learn simply from 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 utensils. You see, you know what? That what what by a pit also even a pit is obli- a pit is 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 not is not obligated on on utensils because we say uh, 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 them, the ox is not a man and chamar or donkey but lo kalim and So you see what the utensils the, you're not obligated for. And nevertheless, so even though what. A pit is not obligated on utensils, okay. But uh, if the if the animal 
uh, by if the animal by trampling damaged utensils in the private domain has to pay. Okay, so I'll say a kabbal chomer from rego. That just, that what that that rego. Okay, that rego which which was lenient if it damaged utensils in the public domain, it's exempt. Nevertheless, that that light case has a stringent law in the private domain. In the in the in the damages domain, you have to pay full damages. Certainly, Karen, which pay which is, is is stringent in the public domain, to pay half to, half copra, like we said before. Uh, all the more so, he has to pay what the the uh, full copra in the public in the, in the private domain. Okay, the thing is, I what says one second, Malikeli. Malikeli says one second. I can show you also what when it comes even to even to utensils. That the Torah was more stringent. Why? She ate number H. Because Kalim are not only high, uh, uh, not only high by regal, they're also high by a fire. Okay? A fire, we learned it earlier. If a fire damages Kalim, as long as they're not hidden, they have to pay. Okay? And so, for one, so you, so we see that that's more, that's more stringent. Okay? The answer is no. Me Kalim to Munim. So, you what? I'll learn it for really from what? From utensils which are hidden. Okay? That what? That, that because now we, I don't, by hidden Kalim, I don't have a greater. Humra by damages that I don't find by Kofar. And nevertheless, you have to pay. Okay, Let, uh, okay, Let, let's do it there. Where I says, nope, I can still find it. Why? What are you talking about? He says, he says, a man, if a man does damage and, and in the process he damages hidden cane, he has to pay. Uh, he, he has to pay. So therefore, I find by damages uh, a special thing, but I, 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 a special thing, but, by, but when a man kills a man, he doesn't have to pay Kofar. So therefore, I see a stringency. When a man, I know the man does have to does have to pay for hidden kalim, but he doesn't have to pay for kofir. So you see, the hidden kalim is more severe than kofir. So therefore, I can't learn kofir from hidden kalim. Okay, alalav shmamino. So now I have to go back. The only way I kind of possibly learned it was the original proposition that we really learned from what that we have to assume that we paid kofir by regal. And we learned the kavu homer from kofir by regal to kofir by the kofir by the kofir by uh, uh, Karen. Okay, that's the only thing that's the uh, okay, you have to say it. Okay, so he must have brought it from the cofer of Rego. Alma, which goes to show, he could cofer of Rego indeed. The Gemara says, Shmamino. Yes, yes. And the Gemara says, Shmamino, indeed we should hear it. He says, you know, it also makes sense. And this is an incredible piece He says, the star of the cofer of Rego. It makes sense, you know, just from common sense that, that Rego pays cofer. Why? Because these sakadaitas, the lack of copper bread, goes the other way. If there really wasn't, the, then the, again the brisa would make no sense. The tanim the zika the regal maisilo, okay? Because how could how could he ever have learned? How could Rabbi Tarfan learn that a short time that kills with Karen is going to pay nezek sholim, copper sholim is going to pay copper sholim in the domain of nizak? How could he learn it from a kalva chomer from the fact that we pay uh, nezek sholim, okay, in the shus and nizak? Because like we okay. He says, Lifrok, why do we ask this kasha? Mal and Ezekiel, the rego, okay, when it comes to the damages of rego, to King Yeshon on the rego, okay, what? You have, you, have, you have to pay, you have to pay, you have to pay for rego, okay? Uh, 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 when it, but when it comes to co-fair, okay, you don't pay, you don't pay for rego. The Ezekiel, by definition, the Ezekiel, by definition, is, rego, by definition, has the Ezekiel, it doesn't have co-fair. So you see, by definition, you can't learn from you can't learn from Rego. You, you can't learn Rego. Right? Rego's by definition more Homer. Rego has the Zeke, and, and Rego and, 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 and there's the Zeke by Rego, but there's no Kofer by Rego. So you see, by definition, it's more Homer. So you can't learn. Allah Shmami no. Okay. Okay. So therefore, what? So therefore, Allah Shmami no. You're forced to, so like we said, in the Kofer the Rego Maisimo. It must be what that he didn't derive it from Kofer of Rego. I'll make a Kofer Rego, and we finally solve this point. Shmami no. It says indeed we do. Now we're going to learn about since we're traveling along from the previous Mishnah. Now we're moving on. Let's examine another type of them. He says on the Muad Olam, a man is always obligated. Okay, uh, whether whether uh, uh, okay uh, okay uh, uh, a person is a person is always forewarned. He's not allowed to damage people and he's not allowed to damage property. Being, and both of those things, being Bishoge, whether it's by whether it, whether it, now I want to I'm going to find some words over here. Shoge, shoge means that I was mistaken. I, I'm doing. I'm intending to do what I'm doing, but I'm mistaken about what I'm doing. So, for example, I don't think that the, I here. Let's take a classic example by Shabbos. So, I here. I I I, uh, I light a fire on Shabbos. I, what's called mistake and what's called shoge? Either I didn't know you're not allowed to light a fire on Shabbos, or I thought it's Tuesday. I thought it's Tuesday. 
that's called a mistake. I, I did, I, I, I tended to do what I'm doing, you understand? But I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. I intended what I was doing. So that's called shogay, okay? Uh, me, okay, be maze it, but maze it is really what? When you do something intentionally. So intentionally as opposed to what? Unintentionally, inadvertently. I actually didn't mean, I didn't, I actually didn't mean to do what I did. That's the by shogig, I meant to do what I did, but I didn't think I was doing anything wrong. By maze it or by may by, by maze it or lobe maze it, I'm, I, I either intended to do it or I didn't intend to do it. Those are two different things. So whether I whether I was mistaken or whether I was intentional, okay. Bain, uh, bain air, bain yashem, whether I'm awake or even if I was sleeping, I was, we're going to learn. I, I still have to pay for damage. Men, you're really responsible for yourself. See, my saying, if a person damaged the person and, and, and he blinded, and he blinded the person's eye, the shibra sakalim, or he broke utensils, okay, in damaging, mashalim, nezik shalim, okay, even though he did those things by mistake, for example, what, mashalim, nezik shalim, has to pay full damage. Skatani, we learn. If a person blinded the eye of his friend, okay, do me the shiva again. If you notice, the language of the Mishnah put in apposition the blinding of the eye and the breaking of the kalim. So why would they put in apposition with an A? Yes, and why, they're, they're compared some way. The answer is ma hazam, hazam, nezikin. So just like when it comes, obviously, when it comes to breaking utensils, nezikin, you pay for a devaluation, the arbit barim. Okay, uh, low. You're obviously not paying for the four things that you would pay a human when you damage them, the canon and not human. Afsim is saying Javero. So also too, even when the person blinded the eye of his friend by mistake, we're saying obviously, by mistake, Nezek in uh, what so therefore what, he he pays damages, Abid Ab, uh, yeah, He doesn't pay, he doesn't pay the four he, he doesn't pay the four things. Only when the person uh, 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 intends to do the damage. You know, immediately, where do we know this? How do we know that when a person damaged by mistake, that he only pays the evaluation and he doesn't pay the fourth thing? Um, Chizkiya, Chizkiya said like this. He says, okay, the chain turned to be Chizkiya, and also in the yeshiva, uh, 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 um, Chizkiya, and also in the yeshiva of Chizkiya, we learn the following. Amar um, Kra, the Pasik says, uh, 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 when we're, we're, we're describing damages, the Pasik says that a person has to say, Petsa Tachas Petsa, okay, an injury. For in place of an injury, okay, is what it says. So, and the, what's the pasuk? And those because the pasuk now, and it's extra. Why is that? Because we already learned each ten mumba mito. We learned in the pasuk that when a person makes an injury, p- 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 damages his friend, whatever he did, you have to do to him. So why do you have to tell me that has to pay injury for injury? You have a pasuk that says when you put a mum, you put a, a, a flaw on a person, you have to pay. So why have to tell me pesach 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 tachas pesach? So you're telling me what? You have to pay what? You have to pay. You have to pay for, um, uh, for you have to pay what for by, by mistake. Even just like if you did it purposely, and or if you or if you did it if it was accidental, like you did it intentionally, right? Like you did it intentionally, uh, intentionally. Yeah, if I made a mistake before, I may, I may, I might have mixed up Mazid with uh, with Ratzon. Okay, but the main was like, but, 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 uh, anyway, we're saying, okay, now, uh, if I if I said it wrong before, you correct it. Okay, so the Gemara says one thing. So I'm not, therefore, I'm learning what that that uh, we see that what uh, a person has to pay even if he was unintentional or mistaken. The Gemara says one second. He says he says that's like I Jaime Bailey. Uh, I mean, by the way, I already needed that puzzle for something else. He takes cyber mechanism. We we really need it for another reason because I might think that the payments, for example, of pain or doctor bills, etc., is only in a place where I'm not paying for devaluation. There's no when I'm not paying devaluation, then I pay for pain. But if I'm paying for devaluation, it automatically includes the pain. It's a really uh, um, what's the word scary concept because you're saying that when you pay, let's say a person cut a person's arm off. So you're saying when he pays for the for the price of the arm, he owns the arm, so he's no longer obligated to pay for the pain. It's his arm. It's, it's a very strange, very strange thing. But the idea would be so maybe if you pay devaluation, you don't have to pay for pain, etc. So in case, so so I, so I read it, so I have to learn that even when you're paying devaluation, you have to pay for pain. So now I don't have to tell me that I have to pay for mistakes and and inadvertent. Okay, so you have to, maybe I, maybe how do I know I have to pay for mistakes and inadvertent? In cane lift of crawl pets of the pets up. Because the pasuk, it would, it would, the right extra, you should have said, you, you said, uh, said uh, an injury, an injury, uh, an injury for, for, for an injury. My tachas, why in place of a whole extra word? My tachas, but tachas patsa. 
Why, why, why an extra word in place of? So really, there's two extra words. In other words, petza be petza was already extra because I already learned ishi tame room where you give it damage. So just saying it again is a repetition. So one of them can teach me what I have to pay for mistakes and inadvertent. And the second one that it said tachas shmona tachas. And then the second point, well, also that you also have to pay uh, 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 um, that you have to pay for the for the pain, etc. Even when I'm paying devaluation, you don't say that you bought the person's arm and all the rest is yours. Amar Rabba, Rabba says, is a funny word. Cheik, you know, here, how do you hug somebody? You take him into your cheik. This is hugging. After you take, you know, you ever hear especially people say cheik hayad, which is the bosom of Judaism. You know, person's close to Torah. So cheik, it could be, could be really, should, it should mean this. It's the space between your arms when you hug. But a cheik is also a lap. So over here, the pashtas, the Pashtas, uh, it means lap, but the other, other circumstances we can talk about. Pashtas, it means lap here. You'll see me this is the case. I said, a person had a, had, had a rock on his lap and he didn't know. So was, let's say he didn't feel it. Somebody snuck up and put it on his lap. He never knew it was there. We all made enough. Then he stood up and the, and, the, and the rock fell off him. Okay, now we're gonna, we, this is classic uh, exercise anymore. We're going to take the case vis-a-vis many different laws. Linian is okay when it comes to damages, Chayef, he has to pay. Why? Because we learned it doesn't make my, 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 it doesn't matter. By mistake, by accident, you always have to pay. You have to pay. The Indian Arbadvarim, as far as the four extra things besides the evaluation, he put there, he's exempt, because it's a general principle that you only pay the four things when you intended to do damage. Here he didn't intend to do damage. So damage you have to pay, but not the four things. Linian Shabbos, let's say that what? He didn't know he had it and he kept walking. It somehow bound up with him. And he walked four Amas in the public domain on Shabbos, or he walked from private to public, or the reverse. What's the halacha? Okay, the answer is what? The answer is, Melech HaMachshavah Sosur Torah. By putting in apposition, the, uh, no, but in apposition, the laws of Shabbos and the building of the Mishkan, and by the Mishkan it says, Melech HaMachshavah, it means it's something that, it's something that the person considered, an action, an artistic action or a creative action, which is a considered act, okay? So it means what? So on Shabbos you have to have to do a considered act, okay? Now over here, what? This is not a considered act. He, he has no idea what's going on over here. This is not an act on Shabbos that's considered a considered act. Okay? Linyan Golas. What about if he killed somebody? Does he have to go into exile? Usually a person who kills somebody by accident, by, by, by accident, when it's not true accident, okay, by mistake, he goes into exile. Potter, okay, he's, 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 he's exempt, okay? Uh, uh, why is that? Because it's completely beyond his control. And even by exile, when things are completely beyond your control, you don't. He never knew it was there. He never knew it was there. Linian Evid, let's say, let's say that he took out the eye, that the stone took out the eye of, of his slave, or knocked out his tooth, where on the normal circuit, if a person did it correctly, the slave would go free. That is plucked to the Rabbi Shimon Gamliel Rabbi. That's a machlokas, the Gemara says. Why? The Tanya, because we learned, I show you Rabbi Rofe. Let's say the, 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 the owner of the slave was a doctor, and the, the slave said, please put this cosmetic into my eye as a, as a, as a, um, as a cure. The Sima, but in the process, he blinded the eye. Or let's say alternatively, let's say, let's say, let's say the, uh, the owner is a dentist. Hasar says, listen, you know, he said, listen, dig out around my tooth. Get the, get the plaque around, I go dig around my, the bottom of my tooth to take the plaque off, just for, for example. Be peeled, but instead, he, instead he actually took the tooth out. He, 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 has, he has won the game against the, against the master. He goes free. Okay, that's the, that's, that's the opinion of the rabbi. It doesn't matter. You took it out, you took it out. Um, Mishim and Leon says, no, you, you, it's not true. He says, because what says, Mishich HaSot, by the Pasuk of, of, of damaging the eye, says he destroyed it. Actually, he's carving the shachos. He has to intend to destroy it. It says, focus whether you need intention by the din of the slave or not. Okay, now, we're going to ch- be careful here. We're going to change one thing and change only one thing. And there's only, only one change in result. Get ready. Here. Hikobo Ushchacha, let's say, he, let's say he did know the stone was in his lap. He knew it. He put it. He put it there, and he forgot about it. He forgot it there. So this is not absolute lack of knowledge. At the moment that he got up, he didn't. He forgot that it was there, but he knew that it was there originally. Now, one, only one law is going to change. and he stood up and it fell down. Now, oh, we look at the whole list. Only one law is going to change. Then you need and for damages. He's obligated. Make a difference here. You know, you don't know, etc. By mistake, by accident, don't make it. By, but, but against it, with, with intentional, not intentional, no difference. Lina Bradsvarim Potter. As far as paying the four extra things, he's exempt. I didn't intend to do the damage. But this one changes. Now, when it comes to when it comes to going to exile, 
he's obligated because why? Because I'm a crab Shkaga. The pasuk said if he did it by mistake, right? He's a shogeg. Mechlal, the heavy lay deal. Okay, it means what? Uh, 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 he knew something before, and this guy knew something. He knew something before, and, he, and he's still and he's high. Okay, I have a heavy lay deal. This guy knew. Okay, you, to be shogeg, to make a mistake, you have to have some knowledge. And he had knowledge, and he did it by shogeg. I lean in Shabbos pater. As far as Shabbos again, he's pater. Why? Like we said, because it's yeah. not a considered action. Then in Eved, as far as as far as the slave, that's the same argument we have before. Same thing as before. Is kavan is work shtayim bizarre kavan. Let's say a guy intended to throw uh, to to uh, to uh, a general. He intended to, uh, he, a new a new point, but interesting, a, a fascinating uh, investigation. A guy wants to throw stone two cubits and throws it four. Okay, no, he threw, he threw. Okay, zar okay bizarre kavan. He intended to throw two with Zarka, but he threw four. Okay? <laughs> so, really, what uh, what does he do? Lenin is Zarka and Chayim. As far as damages, what's the difference? He, he has to pay. You mistake, intentional, not intentional, we don't care. Lenin Abbott Vaim, as far as the four extra things, again, he's exempt. He didn't intend to go, he intend to go the eight, he didn't intend to go the four, so he's exempt. Lenin Shabbos, as far as Shabbos, which, which is, remember, four Amos is the, is the amount of carrying a public domain. We need a considered action. And this wasn't the considered action. Okay? So, he's exempt. Lenin Golos, as far as as far as exile. Now, there's two ways to read this. There's two ways to read this. I'm going to read it the, the, the second way of Rashi, just for for brevity's sake. Lenin Golos Pater, as far as exile, he is exempt. Why is that? Because when the pasuk says by going to exile, it says Ashelot Tzada. Now, usually we we, we translate Ashelot Tzada as he did not lie in wait. He didn't ambush the guy. Here, yeah, here Rashi really learns like what he didn't he didn't uh, he didn't um, direct it. Towards him, he didn't direct the the the, the damage or towards him. The thing flew off, and the guy didn't direct it to it. It flew off the thing, and he didn't. He's not the one who directed. He didn't direct it towards him. So it says he didn't direct it towards the guy who got damaged on Rachmana. That's what the pasuk says. Pratlin is kavun lizok shtayv is which is which is which excludes the case. Where, 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 uh, so therefore, it excludes the case where what where the guy uh, where the guy uh, threw it to and it went for. He is not obligated. Because, uh, because one second, uh, because he because he did throw it, because he did throw it. Let's see if I said it correctly. One second, I, just, I, I, I just want to double check. What? Yeah, I just gonna one second. Yeah, I just want to double check. I'm saying I'm saying the second Rashi. Why? Because it has to be that he didn't mean to throw it. Okay, but 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 this guy did mean to throw it towards the guy. He here he didn't mean to throw it for, but he was throwing it to the guy. No, the Pasik says it has to be that he, that he, that he, that he, who goes in the gullus. So the guy wasn't throwing it towards the guy. This guy was. He was throwing it towards the guy, but he didn't want to throw it for. But he threw it towards the guy, so he is exempt. Let's take that. That's the easy way out. You have to do that sometimes. There's a there's a comedian. You know, there's a famous expression. It says it says that uh, discretion is the better part of valor. That's, I forget. It's a famous expression. So he, so so person a person who doesn't want to have valor, a person who wants to be a coward. He says he says and I, he says discretion is the better part of valor. He says. And I figure cowardice is the better part of discretion. I'm running away. <laughs> so that's what I did this morning. I took I, I took cowardice here and ran away. Okay. Uh, when you go look at the Rashi yourself. Okay. Furthermore. Okay. 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 Linian Evid. And as far as what? Ashel Otzada. Linian Evid. As far as the slave. We already said. Whether you need intention. Amar Rabbi. He says further. Let's say the okay. Uh, oh no, that's a stop. Oh no, no, I'm sorry, I skipped the next paragraph. One more. This common is so arba. Okay, bizarre shmona. Let's say the guy wanted to do four. Remember, you already hit the you hit the threshold for Shabbos. Okay, he was meant to throw four bizarre shmona, but he threw eight. Okay, and it went eight. He didn't intend it. Lenin is zakin chayev. Okay, for damages, he's obligated. Okay, uh, 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 obligated. So what's the difference? Mistake, not mistake, it's intentional. Linian Abadvarim, as far as the as far as the four extra things, okay. Potter, he didn't intend it. Linian Shabbos for Shabbos. Okay, now it's going to depend. The Omer, if when he meant to throw four, he really meant Komakum Shatir Tatanoach, I don't care where it lands, okay, in. Okay, then yes, okay, he's gonna be he's gonna be obligated on Shabbos. Why? Because he said he meant to do something forbidden. He said four and wherever it lands. What's the difference? Im lo, but if he didn't want it to go wherever it goes. Yeah, okay, he, uh, okay, he wants, uh, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, oh, he wanted it specifically at four low, then he's not obligated. Why? Because he never intended to do this action that he did. Okay, Linian Golas, as far as as far as going to exile, Asher Lotzada, okay, we said we didn't throw it towards him. 
this Kavan is Zorak Abra, Zorak Shmona. Here, where he, here, he did intend to throw it towards him, so he's exempt. It's it's exempt. It still doesn't it still excludes what meaning for and going eight. Lenin Ebed, and as far as the slave, look to the Rabbi Shimon by Gamliel Rabbanon. That's the classical argument by a slave, whether you need intention or not. And tomorrow we'll go into the most extremely exciting case that everyone in the whole world debates forever. Okay. We so, still have fifteen minutes. You can do that. I, there's a reason why I stopped that time because we have to do that exciting, classic, super duper complicated case tomorrow. You know, you know, if you ever read, if you ever read Charles Dickens, if you ever read Charles Dickens, you'll see that every single, you know, Charles Dickens, the famous, the famous writer. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll see that every chapter ends with a cliffhanger. You know why? Every chapter ends yeah, with a cliffhanger. Suspense. It was exactly. It was published in the newspapers. So he had, in order to keep his readership buying the papers, he had, he, he always ended in suspense. Every Despite chapter in suspense. The perils of Bowie, yes, which yeah. is tied to yeah. the train Everybody. tracks. And then you have to <laughs> you know why those no wonder those Victorian novels are so thick. Yeah, they got paid by the page. Yeah, you got paid by the page. <laughs> Actually, you want to hear something interesting? One of the notoriously most difficult things to read in the halacha is the Prima Gunim. Prima Gunim, who became a pillar of modern halacha, is if you, he's the most, he, he'll make you cry. It's so hard. He says he's going to explain that it doesn't appear. Words are gone. What happened? He was so poor, he paid by the word. She so was always ripping words out of his. Manuscript that not, not to pay the pub, not to pay the printer. So it's it's horrible. That's what there's a book called Mishmer Sholem. One of the books that Mishmer Sholem explains it. Mishmer is a book that's telling you, you know what happened over here. He pulled this out. He pulled that. This word should have been in there. He couldn't afford to print it. He's he's paying pay by the word. He's pulling words out. So if you weren't a monster monster scholar, you can't read the book. It's horrible. I learned with a guy. You know, I learned with a guy who was a, a manuscript master. So one of the one of the one of the books in the old Shulchan Aruch that was notoriously hard to read was the Ksos. It was full of full of mistakes every place. Anyway, so one day I'm learning my Chavruta, and there are four lines that are utter utter, utter jumble in the old Shulchan Aruch. It's unreadable. So we run over to 